Burlington is coming together to support a longtime resident and beloved member of the school community who is fighting cancer. Dottie Yaden, a bus driver who has given much of her time to generation of students and supported them in their extracurricular endeavors, has become the focus of a Dottie Strong campaign launched by students and their families. This week, I went down to the Burlington Fire Department to speak with Dottie about her career in the town. Well, I grew up in Burlington myself. I'm a 1966 graduate of Burlington High School. All four of my kids grew up here. 11 of my 14 grandkids are growing up here. I've been driving a school bus for Burlington for 22 years. And I've just always volunteered. I love like the 4th of July. I love Burlington Pride Day and Truck Day. And I just, I just love everything about the town. Always have. She also goes to all the sporting events for the high school kids, so she makes herself present. She's always present. At I love the kids. When residents heard the news about Dottie, the community rallied together to do everything they could for her. It's a really strong community that rallies around um, rallies around our own. So uh, students here have fundraised. They are selling bracelets. People were selling T-shirts. Uh, I know some of the football and hockey players uh, got together and gave her a helmet, uh, made the Channel 7 News, which was really exciting, and uh, she was able to express their... Uh, how much it meant to her to, to have that from those kids, knowing that uh, they're thinking about her, because I think really uh, Dottie does it because she loves kids. So we love Dottie. Dottie's been our bus driver, I mean, since I played ball, so yeah. she's very special to all of us. Um, nobody loves Burlington kids more than Dottie. And so when we heard that she was diagnosed with cancer, we knew that we had to do something. Um, so we decided we would have a game to support her and we had so many people come out for it and only Dottie can draw a crowd like that. Right. Um, so the Dottie Strong game was just to you know, show her our support. Um, we were able to collect donations and money to give to her to help her with her fight. Dottie and her family are extremely thankful for the warm wishes and gifts from family and friends. They've been so amazing. I'm, every day I'm getting cards, they send baskets, I'm getting phone calls everywhere I go. Every people, everybody I see just let me know they're praying for me and wishing for me. And it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. For more than 20 years, Dottie has been driving the kids to school, supporting the Burlington athletes, and attending special events like the all-night grad party. Now, the 4th of July committee is giving Dottie a special ride of her own, and the card dedicated to the parade's Outstanding Citizen of the Year. There were a number of nominees this year, but in the end, the choice was clear. All of them, certainly well qualified and outstanding citizens in their own right. But I think uh, Dottie, uh, Dottie's story sort of tugged on the hot strings of the committee members and she was our unanimous choice this year. Dottie's reaction? Speechless. Complete shock. When Al Fay and Terry Toppy ever walked in the house with flowers, I had no clue what was going on. I just didn't know what to say. Finally, the community is always given a helping hand for someone who needs it the most. Well, I, you know, I just giving her, giving back to her a little bit of uh, uh, recognition um, for all of the years that, that she's given of herself to the community. I think this is a, a, a nice way to, um, you know, people in the community who may not know her story, um, this is a good way for us to uh, share that with the rest of the community. That no matter what's going on, when you have a town that cares about their people and they that you stand together no matter what and you're right there for each other because everybody needs help. And it's just, it's overwhelming to see how this town has come together. And I, I've seen them do it before. This isn't the first time. And it's just, it's an amazing town. We are all praying for you, Dottie, and wish you nothing but the best in your fight. For B News Weekly, I'm Robert Paris.